I usually change my smartphone and one of the irritating thing about it is taking the screenshot on the new device. Uh, there are two problems. One is to how to take the screenshot. Sometimes it have different button combination. And the second thing, how I can add some text or some pointer on that screenshot. So I thought to try some screenshot apps and today I will introduce you three screenshot apps for Android device. I hope that will be helpful for you. <laughs> I'm Nasherwan and you are watching Discovery Time. Today I selected three screenshot app for you guys to save you from trouble. First screenshot app is Screenshot Touch. This app has rich features and easy to use. You can take screenshots by shaking your phone and you can also set some custom path to save your files. When you tap on the start capture monitoring service button on the top, uh, you can see a small icon that appears on the screen and you can take screenshots by tapping on that button. The good thing about this this uh, screenshot app is there you can take the long screen captures for the browser and this feature is only available if you open the website in the app second app is screenshot easy it has a kind of similar interface and you can find a start capture button on the top of the screen and it will enable you to capture screenshot on your smartphone you can capture screenshots using an overlay icon that will appear on the screen of the smartphone and you can also take screenshot by shaking your phone uh, you can also set a combination of the button according to your ease to take the screenshots Third app I want to introduce is Touch Shot Screenshot app. You can take screenshots by simple touch. You don't need to mess with the hardware keys, power button or volume keys, anything. It's a simple app and you can use very easily. You can also edit images on this app. You can add uh, text on the image. You can add some pointers on the image. And the good thing about this app is that it also provides screen recorder feature and uh, it's a screen recorder and you can also take the screenshots within this app. That's the good thing about it. That's all for this week and I will be back with another episode of Discovery Time next week. So stay tuned and don't forget to give me some suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. By the way, don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will be right back. Thanks.